Let's do this. Peekaboo! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Well, hello. Well, hello. Good morning. Woo -hoo -hoo. What is up, guys? Welcome back. Yeah, we decided to take a break from Pokemon. Well, not we. Me. Riding solo today. I figured, hey, let's switch it up for y'all. Let's take a break from the old fish and set the rods down, and let's go chase some Sky Carp. For those of you who don't know, Sky Carp are snow geese. They look like this. So yeah, they come in in crazy, crazy numbers. I figured, you know what, it's a great day out, beautiful day, it's supposed to get like 65 degrees today. Let's go chase down, do some pond jumping, and try to get some snow geese, possibly even do a catch, clean, and cook for y'all. So, I'm hoping for at least one good jump. If I have a couple that I get a few on, that'll be, that'll be acceptable. But one good jump is really what I want you guys to see and experience and just basically watch the snow geese bonanza. It can get pretty, pretty crazy. I'm basically just looking for that X. And by that, I mean the spot where they're all landing. Once one pile starts landing they just all funnel through so if i can find the x we might done have a video for y'all today so you ready betsy be good to me don't get stuck let's go try to find some geese Alrighty, well, we have found the first group of the day and they're in a very very tough spot as you can see the ponds right down here and they're right up over here i'll zoom in on them now I drove by and they were literally four feet away from the road and they all jumped up, went further in the field. So yeah, they were, uh, I like them close, but those were a little too close. They're starting to move. It's uh, getting a little bit exciting. I came up over the hill and about shat my pants because they were all basically four feet from the road. I don't know, see if we can make a move on these. Well, that didn't work out. All right, I was uh, going to make my stock plan and they all jumped as you can see. Hopefully they go back down on the lake, but that's a lot of chickens. Oh, there's a ton more that were coming in above them. Oh, they might land on the lake. I might get lucky they might land on the lake. They look like they want to land, so I'm going to try to get out of here and let these guys land. I'm going to go watch from a vantage point. Hopefully they'll land again. Let them land, and then I'm going to come back. I'm going to go up here and watch them from the hill. Ooh, baby! This might turn out pretty good. They just, oh, yep, they're going down on the lake. Ooh, baby! Get all these fellas. All right, that's the last little bit of them that's going down there right over this dam. So I don't know exactly how I'm gonna do this. I don't know, it's kind of what I like about doing this. You kind of got to strategize and see if you can outsmart them. And it definitely uh, flexes your brain. So I'm gonna sit here, let these last couple ones land and hopefully I can make a stock on these. I'll catch up with you then. All right guys, I don't know if you guys can see those up there, but the whole pond was just full of them. They're starting to funnel back in. They're all landing on the pond right there. I'm gonna try to jump up over the dam and hopefully get some of these geese. That's like four, five, six, seven. If we can fit one more bad boy in there. Eight, nine. We got nine. Let's do this. All right, I'm gonna work my way down here, try to get on top of the dam without them seeing me. Hopefully pop up, whack a bang. All right, guys, I don't know if you guys can see them, but they're still all funneling down. I actually wasn't able to go drive by. I wanted to make sure and try to jump them while they're still on here, so I didn't drive by and see what part of the lake they're on, but I'm gonna try to jump up over the dam and just hope they're right below me. I think there's enough of them that they'll be scattered out. As you can see, they're still funneling down like crazy, but I wanted to do it quick because these birds have been real jumpy. Just jumping around, I've been following them and following them. They'll sit down for a little bit and then boom, they're up. So I'm gonna work my way up here and I'm gonna try to get up on the dam and hopefully they're within range to whack a bam. Stay tuned. Oh baby, they're still coming in. I'm gonna let this last big group kind of funnel in. Hopefully they keep working this way and this way closer to the dam. Usually birds don't like to land right on the dam because they know danger can come right up over it, but I might have this one in the back. Uh oh, those ones flared off. I better get going. They might jump. Hopefully they don't jump before I get there. Those ones definitely saw me. These must be older birds. Oh no, they're they getting up. Oh, I thought they were getting up. Gotta make my move count. I've been struggling with these. Oh yeah, there's a ton above me still. I might sit and wait and see if these ones come in even while I'm sitting here. That way I can play it safe. Maybe they'll work their way to me. Oh baby. Hello, come join your friends. All right, so I made it to the dam. I'm gonna get right up here. I'm gonna sit for a bit. They should be right below me. These ones are still landing. I'm gonna let these ones land to 
kind of give me a mark of where they're at. Hopefully they're straight below me. And if nothing else, even if these do fly, I'll be able to hear them when they jump and I'll be able to locate them even without seeing them. And then I'll be able to pop up and get them. See if I can peek over. Wow, those ones are close. I just don't know what part of the lake they're landing on. I waited for them all to turn so I can get up here a little bit. Hopefully they're right below me. Oh, they're coming right in. This might be crazy, guys. This might be crazy. Oh, they're all right below me, I think. It's a pretty long dam, though. You can see them coming in right below me. I'm just gonna let them funnel in towards me where they keep working their way. I'm already here in position, so even if they jump, I can jump with them. Just slowly peek up. I'm pretty sure they're within range. Oh baby, they're a little farther than I'd like, but I still think I'll be able to get some. These ones right here are landing close. I think it's go time, boys. You ready for this? Let's do this. Peekaboo! Oh baby, oh baby. I didn't even shoot all my shots because I totally, I didn't want to totally spray and pray, but I got about, I don't even know. See if they'll all come back right over me. I should have just unloaded. There's a bunch of Canada's. I think a lot of those are too high. I should have popped some shots, but I hate the sky blast. I got quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One just got up and flew. All right, that one went over to shore and just took a hard dive. That's a Canada, or else I could pop him. I should have popped a couple more while they were flying over, but I'll be happy with what I got. Now the pickup process begins. Lots of these are dead right in front of me. There is a couple live ones I gotta go around and pick up, but all right, all right. Didn't want to totally sky blast them and just unload every shell, even though I really thought about it, but we got quite a few there, so that was a successful jump. I'm gonna go start to pick some of these up though. This one's flying right at me. All right, well, he got up and flew. Boys, we got some jerky in the freezer. All right, I'm gonna go around and pick some of these up. Some of them need finished off, but as you can see, they're all still flying around me. I could have popped some more shots, but uh, figured I'd be somewhat ethical and not totally just destroy them all. That was pretty darn fun. All right, let's go pick some of these bad boys up. I still had quite a few shells in the gun. I could have shot quite a few more times, but figured I'd save the herd. All right, let's go get some of these bad boys. Ugh. I'm gonna have to wait till those ones float across, but all right, we did it. We got a runner over there. Got a couple runners over here. Come on, boy, see if I can catch him. Gotta go way around. It's the only hard part, to jump in these bigger ponds, almost lakes. We gotta wait till they float across. This might be pretty wet. Might be getting a little wet here. We're gonna give her the old run and jump. Got my phone. Yeet. Oh, made it. All right, let's go get these boys. There's one that fell way out of the group. Didn't even see this bad boy. All right, first one of the year. Woo! Any bands? Negative. All right, let's go find these others. Numero dos. Nice blue goose. All right, basically just checking the shoreline for all the ones that blew over. We got some wind today, so that's gonna help. Two in the back. He's walking. Oh, there's two up there. All right, let's go get these bad boys. Hey, little skippies. Come here. There you go. There's another one. Got another one. All right. One more. Nice bigger goose. Got a couple more in that shore. A couple more that are going to float over here. And then we're going to make a final count. Stay tuned. All right. Got another one down there. I had a couple fly up on me down there that about five or six that just jumped up and flew. So I uh, was going to shoot them. I'm out of shells now. I'm going to go pick up the ones in this cove. I just got the ones in this cove. We're going to go see how many we got. Tally them up. Stay tuned. All right. Here's the destruction. I haven't counted them all because I got a couple more on the other short, but this is going to be interesting. We're going to try to give them the yeet. You guys fell off the head strap into the water. Hopefully this is water too. But I made it. Kind of. And I fell. I didn't see this big hole. It's fun and all shooting them. Then you got to drag them back. That ain't no fun. I got at least one over here. Not a breath. 
I got at least one more to add to the collection. And then we're heading back to the truck. We got a few on the day. Stay tuned. We're going to go back, count them, try to get some more. All right, sorry. I had to take my windscreen off because uh, it got soaked, as you guys saw. But we got these bad boys across. I made it across. Oh, now they're going to be all wet and even heavier. I didn't think of that. That was a terrible mistake. All right, well, we're going to head back to the truck. Pick up this last one that's on the shore over here. We're going to give them a count. Then we're going to hopefully drive around and get some more. All right, the dragging process begins. Whoa, jeez. That's what I don't like. Beautiful day to take your friends on a walk, yeah? One last goose somewhere. Yeah, right here. Big old blue goose. Add them to the collection. Woo, woo. All right, all right. Made it back to the truck. Just got them all unloaded from the lanyard. And I'm gonna make a one simple little point here. If you go pond jumping without a lanyard, let me tell you, you got a heck of a walk because without this bad boy, I would have been struggling. You just basically just put the leg in there and then it cinches down and I could put two or three or whatever, however many I had to put in each one. Yeah, threw this around my neck, drug it. Let me tell you, that was a walk, so we did it. We got some geese. Let's uh, let's uh, do the old count here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13 geese, one jump. I probably could have got more if I really wanted to just freaking go out there and wham blast them, but I wanted to be somewhat ethical. I think I only shot like five shots or so. They were getting too far away. I didn't want to wound them and just have them go off and die elsewhere. Um, also, when they were circling around, I probably could have plucked a few, but like I said, again, I didn't want them to go off somewhere else and die and me not able to be able to take advantage of the meat. So I uh, played it safe, made sure I got the ones that I knew I could get. There was a couple in the group that I must have winged or just barely nicked, barely stunned them or something like that because they got up and flew, so. That's good for them. I got all the ones that I knocked down. The ones that I didn't get flew off just fine. So yeah, 13 in the bag. We got some, we got some goose jerky today. Let me tell you, that was an experience. Jumping up over that dam and just seeing them just flush. I'll replay it again. Peekaboo! If you ever have a chance to go snow goose jumping, highly recommend it. It definitely gives you a rush. Peekaboo!